Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to another video. So guys, in this video, um, I am, it is a do-it-yourself video. If you're new to my channel, I do a whole, a whole bunch of stuff on Tesla, tech, do-it-yourself, home automation, you name it, right? So uh, this is a do-it-yourself video and it's about fixing a dryer that's been broken uh, for a couple weeks now and I finally got a chance to open it up. So here's my LG. I'll put the model number on the screen as well. It's a washer and dryer set that we have. Uh, it's about 12 to 13 years old now. And uh, just basically two weeks ago, uh, we put some clothes in the dryer and and it um, it shut down on its own. I wasn't able to turn it on. I tried a bunch of reset things. Online it says to unplug, uh, hold this button down for about five seconds and then plug it back in. That didn't work either. I looked at a few um, reset options online and I couldn't find anything. So I decided let's open it up and just take a quick peek before I go ahead and replace this thing, right? Uh, being 12, 13 years old, I figured maybe it is time for a replacement, but I wanted to take a quick peek and um, and see if I could fix something. So very quickly, um, on the back of the thing here, uh, you'll see like a kind of like a bracket piece all across the same color. And there's about six screws, right? Three on the top, three at the bottom. You want to take all those screws off, take the bracket thing off, leave it on the side. And then this whole uh, top piece will just slide back and you'll be able to take it off. Uh, this front panel too, there's about two screws that are holding it on the inside. And I'll show you some pictures on this video a little bit later. Uh, there's about two screws here. Uh, you'll take those off and then you'll notice that there'll, there'll be a little bit of movement here and you'll be able to snap this off. Okay, there's a couple clips there. So uh, that being said, look, this thing cost me $18 to fix and that's only because I didn't have a soldering iron. I had to go to Canyon Tire. There was one on sale for 18 bucks. I bought it and bada boom, bada bang. Uh, bada bing, bada bang, bada boom, bada boom, bada bing, bada boom, bada bing. Right, I think that's what it is. Uh, it's fixed or, and uh, it's working fine now. Okay, it took about an hour of my time, 18 bucks, and uh, we're rocking and rolling. So basically what was what happened was, I guess the circuit board on this, the uh, PCB board that's behind this piece, there was a burn that I noticed uh, on one of the tracks. So I put a jumper cable uh, from, from one side of the track to the other, and I soldered that in and it's working like a charm, as you can see, right? And it's powering back on, powering back off, and we're back in business. So guys, please like this video, subscribe, and take a look at how I fix this thing. So guys, just slide off the uh, top cover. It, as mentioned, it slides to the back. And then there's also going to be two little screws here, as well as on the other side. Take those screws off. And uh, if you want, take a picture of the connectors as well, but it's pretty straightforward. A lot of these connections uh, connect to a specific piece, so uh, it's not like there's multiple of the same connector. But take a picture if you want to just um, be safe. So there's a burn mark right there, right? So I had to find a new route. And basically what I did was I scratched off the silicone as well as the uh, track there until I saw the copper. This takes a minute, guys, okay? It's not that complicated. And that um, middle part I'm gonna clean. And what I did was I cleaned it and scratched it off with a screwdriver as well as a sharp knife. And uh, after that, I actually cleaned it with some rubbing alcohol uh, to make sure that there's no remnants there and no sparks and stuff will come up later on. So uh, there's my path. So I'm gonna go actually around the connector as opposed to just straight up because I feel like the connector clips are gonna get in the way. Here's my jump cable, uh, right? Soldered right into that copper that I scratched off. It's very simple, guys. You could use any wire, basically. I just used a power wire and took one of the three wires that were inside it and I use that as my jumper. Then you basically put it uh, right back on. It clips pretty quickly. And then you just wanna make sure that all the connectors are back on securely. Keep in mind, this is a, a dryer. Uh, there is a lot of movement. So you wanna just make sure and double check that all those uh, connectors are clipped um, and they're in nice and snug. All right, and uh, here it is. So I'm just gonna test it here. This is when I tested it for the first time. Everything powered on perfectly and uh, that little trick that cost me $18 and maybe an hour of my time. So I hope you guys like this video. Please like, please subscribe, and more do-it-yourself videos to come. Take care. Bye-bye.